All right, guys, first, the IRS informs us that when it comes to our stimulus checks, we'll be getting our monies deposited into our bank accounts. OK, then they tell us that, hey, guys, look out for a stimulus check in the mail. OK, now they tell us they're going to be mailing us out a debit card in the mail. It's official. We're not only pissed, we're confused. We're going to talk about that even more today on Love Crossing Borders. My name is Andre and I am your expat stimulus expert. Or I'm here to give you as much information as possible when it comes to the stimulus check, stimulus bills, laws that are coming down the line. So the first thing that you want to do to make sure that you keep up on our daily content is subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell so you can get the latest and greatest information in which we have for you guys. The IRS starting late last night has announced that they are going to be delivering what's called the EPI card, which is a Visa debit card to individuals that have not yet received their checks. Therefore, look out for those cards in, coming soon in the mail instead of paper checks. Now, many of you already have paper checks in transit. And if your check is in transit, then you're still going to receive the paper check. So far, they state that of the 150 million Americans that should be receiving a stimulus payment, 140 million of us have already received it. Therefore, 10 million individuals may be receiving a deposit or receiving a debit card in the mail. So look out for that. I don't know if you have to sign for that debit card, just like you may have to sign for the, uh, the check, but be prepared just in case. We want to let you know about that. And so let's recap all the areas in which the IRS has already told us in which we may be receiving our stimulus payment. First thing they informed us was paper checks should be coming in the mail. Next thing they told us was direct deposits should be taking place into those that have bank accounts already established. Then they said the direct express cards for those that are rep pay, representing the payees, that should be coming through as well. And they also told us that net spend and cash app will be used in regards to the stimulus payment deposit. Now they tell us another one, as I just mentioned, now they inform us that the EPI card is going to be used as far as paying stimulus payments. So with the EPI card, you can use it just like any other debit card that we've always used. You can use it online, you can use it uh, at the ATM, and you can use it in any retailer that accepts Visa cards. So the one thing that's good about that card is that it's easy to use and all you have to do is activate it. You don't have to go to a bank and deposit it just like you have to do with a check. You don't have to worry about if you go to a check cashing place and cash the check that they're gonna take a percentage of it. So you don't have to worry about those things. All you have to do is activate it. So the IRS now has six different ways to confuse us when it comes to how how you're going to get your stimulus check. That's basically what I'm seeing now. We think that's going to be one way and it's turning out to be six different ways, but don't feel like you're alone. We here at Love Crossing Borders are still going down the rabbit hole, still getting as much information as possible for you guys so you don't have to feel alone. Now, in regards to, well, who's going to be receiving these cards? Who's going to receive one of these cards that you're talking about, Andre, the EPI card? Here's what's going on. A, individuals that have not set up a direct deposit and B, individuals that have not already had a check sent in the mail or are waiting for a check that's in the mail. And also remember, we mentioned this last week because it's very important. For those of you that are still waiting for deposits, deposits from the IRS go out on Wednesdays, the only day in which the IRS through the Treasury Department deposits money. Now on Friday is the only day in which the IRS mails out money. So therefore, expect money to be mailed out on Fridays that you're expected to come through, whether it be the check or the debit card. And they stated that starting this week, meaning Friday, they're going to be sending out or starting to send out 4 million debit cards to individuals that are still waiting for stimulus checks. So that means that you should, according to the IRS, wait for at least 14 days. So not this week. It may be the week after which you receive it, or it may just be next week in which you receive it. You notice I keep going like this because so far you guys have been waiting weeks 
and weeks and weeks and I understand completely. So what is the expat impact in regards to all this? How does this impact us expats? As I continue to mention, you need to make sure that you have a stateside address established if you are waiting for a debit card or a check to come through the mail. So if you're waiting for direct deposit, remember the IRS historically has always only deposited and mailed out up to 5 million payments per week. That's it. So if you didn't get your, if you're not part of a 5 million window last week or the week before, and you're not a part of the window this week, then the next 5 million, you may be a part of that. Also, some individuals still haven't gotten the start date because your start date is not until the 22nd, which is later on this week. So remember those dates, remember that time. So be patient when it comes to receiving your checks. Thank you guys also for the comments that I'm receiving that I'm able to answer each one of your comments. So if you put in a comment at the bottom of this video, guarantee that even if it takes me all day and night and sometimes I'm going through thousands, but the one thing that's guaranteed, every comment is individualized and it is not generic. So I try to answer your questions or I try to research to get a further answer because I know that if you have a question and I have a question, that means someone else may have that exact same question so yesterday or earlier i left a phone number. also let's talk about earlier the irs has stated that they'd hired 3500 individuals to be their telephone operators but when you call the phone number many of us have found out either three things are happening first you'll be able to get on listen to the prompts make it through the prompts and you can talk to somebody then individuals are able to get through the prompts talk to somebody but the phone hangs up on them but as for the majority of us all we heard was basic information send this to prompts then say push nine if you want to go back to the beginning and we didn't get a chance to speak to anybody once again leaving us as american citizens confused about what the heck is going on with our stimulus checks at least 10 million Americans. So be a little patient once again. I know you've been patient so far, at least for almost going up to two months, waiting for one check to come through because it's amazing how when they need our money, they want it immediately. But when it comes to sending us out only $1,200 back of the money that we've given, it seems to be a problem, but be patient. And this should make you a little upset. This should make you want to reach out to your U.S. senators as well as your congressmen to see, hey, what could be done a little different in regards to the next stimulus check? I know many of you didn't get a chance to use the phone number, so and you couldn't find it in the description. It's in the description below, but here you go. So now call this number right here, and it is the official IRS stimulus check hotline that you can call, see if you can get through to talk to somebody and be able to get as much information as possible. And if you can get through, let us know in the comments section. If you can't get through, let us know in the comments section to let all of us know what's going on in regards to trying to get as much information about the stimulus checks as possible. I do have another phone number for you all that I hope that you all have been taking advantage of. And that is the number in the description to the U.S. Capitol because that line will connect you to your U.S. Senators as well as to the Congress. And so you'd be able to state what your opinion is and your grievances is in regards to how this stimulus situation has been handled. And at the same time, let individuals know about how you feel about making sure we receive more stimulus payments to help stimulate the economy. So what is the expat impact with this situation again. If you do not have a mailing address, a US mailing address set up as an expat, we have put in the description a mailbox company in which you can buy a PO box and they give you a direct actual mailing address. And it's a monthly fee. We don't get anything from it. We're just doing homework, trying to make sure that us expats are looked out for just like our citizens back home are looked out for. So make sure that if you can take advantage, reach out to them, call them. Yesterday, I also left a free app in the description for individuals called Free Tone. You can download it off of, of Google Play and it gives you free access to call any business in the individual in the United States or beyond. So feel comfortable to take advantage of that because it's absolutely free. And it's not too much around that we can get this free right about now, except for subscribing to Love Crossing Borders. It's absolutely free. 
So at the, at the end of the day, we're going to continue on to do more homework, more research and get as much information in regards to what's going on as possible. So make sure that you continue to subscribe. Well, my name is Andre of Andre and Andrea's Love Crossing Borders, and I will be speaking to you all manana.